Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I have a super simple tip for you and for those of you looking to leveraging some of the new admin and I guess creator and maker capabilities of Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform. So as you know, we can obviously use the advanced settings to do all of our customizations in Dynamics 365. Obviously you would do it through solutions, but if I go to customizations, you know, we can go into customize the system and then in here we can mess with the form and the views and all that stuff. But you know, day in and day out, so if I expand right here, accounts, for example, you can see forms, views, all that stuff is in there. But day in and day out, Microsoft continues to add capabilities to the maker portal inside of Power Apps. As a matter of fact, they are actually recommending everyone to go there to do all their customizations. And how do you get there is you you uh, type make.powerapps.com, as you can see, and that takes you to your maker. So from here, the customizations are pretty straightforward. We have solutions, they are managed and unmanaged, just like Dynamics 365. Inside the solutions, you have the entities, uh, and inside the entities, you have the forms and the fields. So here's same thing. So if I go to accounts, so there you go, fields, relationships, business, rules views kind of the same thing you saw on the other solution that I was playing with earlier so let me open that up forms views charts fields same stuff so if I go back again forms views chart uh, charts and fields so all of them are kind of like spread a little bit differently but it's pretty much the same thing obviously if you go to forms for example you go to the main form Notice that you have a form editor, just like you would have the form editor if you went into the solution. Obviously, it's a little bit different. The new form editor is in here, and we will be talking about this one on next week's um, episode of Two Minute Tuesday. But what I wanted to show you and what this tip is about is not about the new form editor with a new back button that a lot of uh, people celebrated last week. Uh, what we're talking about here is how can you access brand new features that haven't even been released yet that are available on preview, but perhaps you don't work for a partner that is participating on the preview program. Perhaps you're just a customer and you wanna see what is coming up on the next release. Now, depending on where you are and where your version of Dynamics is and where your power platform is, whether you have updated or not, these can change, kind of like your experience may vary, but you know, I'm about to show you how you can kind of unveil preview features in the Power Platform Maker Portal within two minutes. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So in order to do this, it's pretty simple. So check this out. We're going to uh, go into the URL and I'm going to delete everything after the .com. I'm going to delete all of that. And then I'm going to come between Make and Power Apps just like that. And I'm going to enter the word preview dot. So we're switching make.powerapps.com to make.preview.powerapps.com. That is your pro tip for this week. So now I click on that. Check that out. It already changes colors. This is the latest and greatest version of the portal as you get closer to a release date, which right now is November 4th when we're recording this. So the next one will be in April. More and more features will become available. So it's not super impressive right now. It looks pretty similar to the old one. But you can tell, for example, let me open the old one right here so we can we can compare. So notice that this one is black, this one is purple, right? That's not a big difference, but um, so for example, let's check out the settings. So if you go to settings, you get like four options here, pretty straightforward. Now we go to the preview version and check this out. If we go to settings, oh, where are my settings? I don't see them in here. Uh, let me go ahead and log into it again and you can see we're doing this live. Just load that up again, there it is, settings, all right, cool. Now look, the new settings are completely different. We have themes now, we have some other options in here for languages and stuff. It's pretty cool. Contact preferences can be updated here. None of that stuff is on the older version or well, I guess the current version of Power Apps. So again, accessing the super secret preview version of the Power Apps Maker Portal is the tip for this week. I hope you share it with your coworkers and hit that like button. We'll see you next week.